Good morning. This is Friday, yeah. the 25th of May. I'm at the Hope and Resurrection School. And tell me your name. I'm by name Abraham Makir. Okay. I am a past graduate of Hope and Resurrection Secondary School, 2011. So we began in 2008. And good enough, we finished in 2011, last year. So you are one of the success stories here at Hope and Resurrection School. And you, with your education, you are now helping others in your community. Tell us about that. Yeah, because uh, when I finished uh, last year in 2011, uh, it came in my heart that our people are suffering outside. And the best way to help them is to educate them. So I'm now helping in primary school, that is Abandoned Life Primary School, in a good Christian ministry. And do you do that every day, or how often do you teach the students? Yeah, every day, from Monday to Friday. Now, are you interested in furthering your education and in increasing your skills as a teacher? And if so, how would you do that? Yeah, in fact, uh, I'm really re interested in going further for further studies. But uh, the only way that uh, I can go on is only to put everything in God's hands. Yeah, so I think that if I have a hope that I may go for further studies later on. Maybe it will be possible because in the Bible it said that nothing is impossible in God. So if you went to university, you would you would leave this community and you would go elsewhere um, to learn. Um, how long would that take and how much would that cost, do you think? Yeah, in fact, uh, uh, studies in... Uh, in university, it is a little a bit different because when you go outside Sudan, then it may cost a little a bit expensive. But here in South Sudan, it is a little a bit cheap. But only that we have lack of some school facilities. That's why most of the people, they used to go outside for further studies. So here in South Sudan, uh, it is a bit cheap anyway. What other things um, do you do to occupy your your life? Do you do you enjoy playing sports? Are you helping your family at home? What are what are some of the other things you do besides serving as a primary instructor? Yeah, when uh, apart from uh, teaching, when I come back home, then I used to cultivate. I used to help my parents in cultivation. Uh, so that uh, we may get food from that cultivation. You've seen many um, visitors from Virginia. You know the uh, Jennifer and Dale. You also know Jim and Mary Higby. How have they um, helped you and other students in the area? Yeah, in fact, they did a very great job anyway, because uh, since 2008, it was unable for me to speak English. But because they came in with the help that they established uh, a secondary school here, it is now a great help. I'm now speaking the English that I was not supposed to, to get. It is because of the American people, American donors. That's why today there is a change in our community. Abraham, thank you very much. It's my pleasure to get to know you and speak with you today. Yeah, thank you very much also because uh, it is now something great because uh, it was God making. That's why it is possible for us to meet. And it is because of the education. That's why we are able to know each other today. Thank you also so much.